Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in blue and we are learning to determine the x and the y intercepts of a given equation. And to illustrate our point, what I've got down the bottom is an example of a straight line with its equation. The equation's in black there and it is y equals negative one half of x plus three. So the first thing to consider is what do I mean by x-intercept and y-intercept? So what does that all mean? So these are the points of our graph where they touch the respective axes. So for example, this point here. That is where our straight line or our linear line intercepts the x axes. So that there would be our x intercept. And similarly, um, the point up here, that is where our straight line intercepts our y axes. So that's where they touch each other, which makes that point our y intercept. And we can visually see these points. So we know for the x intercept, the x value is 0 and the y value, oh sorry, the x value is 6 and the y value is 0. And we can also see for the y intercept that the x value is 0 and the y value is 3. So we can visually determine the coordinates of our straight line, but we can also mathematically prove or mathematically go about determining the x and y intercepts without necessarily seeing our graphs. So at the x intercept, what we know is at any point along the x axis, any point that touches that line, the corresponding y value is always going to be zero. So that is the x-axis that always intercepts the y-axis at zero. So the thing we mathematically know about any x-intercept is that the y-value, or the corresponding y-value, is always going to be equal to zero. And alternatively, the thing we always know about the y-axis is that the corresponding x-value is also going to be zero. So we know for our y-intercept that x is going to be equal to zero. We can use these properties to determine the x and the y-intercepts. So let's have a go using a different color. Let's have a look at orange. So we're going to do one example using the equation we got. So y is equal to negative one-half of x plus three. So let's start off by calculating the x-intercept. And at that point, we know the opposite, or the y-value, is going to be equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 0 into our equation. So we're going to go 0 equals negative 1 half of x plus 3. And what we've done is that y-value... We've taken that out and we put zero in there instead. We're now going to use our math skills or algebra skills to solve this. So let's take away that plus three by minusing three on both sides. We've got minus three is equal to negative one half of x. And what we're going to do now is we're now going to move that times negative one half of x as a divide by. And what we've got is we're left with x is equal to negative 3 divided by negative 0 0.5. And that means x is equal to 6. So that means our x-intercept is at point 6, for the x value we just calculated, comma 0. And that's the y value that we assumed. And if you look at our graph that we determined before, I'm circling it in green, 
we visually saw that the x-intercept was 6, 0. So let's change pen colors. Let's use white. Let's now have a look at the y-intercept. So at the y-intercept, we know the opposite value, x, that's going to be equal to 0. And what we're going to do is we're going to substitute that x equals 0 value into our original equation. So we've got y is equal to negative 1 half of x plus 3. That's our original equation. Where that x is, we're going to take that x away and put in our 0. So y is equal to negative 1 half times 0 plus 3. The negative 1 half times 0, that becomes 0. So that just goes away. And that means our y value is 3. And the corresponding coordinates would be 0, 3. The 0 or the x value coming from the original assumption that x equals 0. And the 3 comes from the y value that we calculated above. And we can look at our graph again. And we can see we visually inspected that point And we got the same answer, 0, 3. So that's an example where we can see it. The key takeaway message is when you're calculating the x-intercept, the opposite value y will be equal to 0. And when we calculate the y-intercept, the opposite value x will be equal to 0. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, now let's get into some questions.